uh, with the real estate I was uh, in almost all these videos, live videos, I'm always there. So I said one day, when you guys see this man, I'm going to show the seed, the seed of 50,000 men to him. Mm -hmm. so, uh, so when he came to us about the last three years, uh, I saw him with my, my, my wife and my kid. So I promised, I pledged that 50k. I didn't even have the 50k. But from that day, I know I asked him to pray, pray for me. I always do that when I see my mentors, when I see the people. I always show the seed and ask them to say what they're praying for. So he did that. And he started our real estate journey. Um, I started as a realtor. That was that terrible. My passport for since 2016, I packed it for years. I couldn't fix it. I was crazy. I was using Nokia Touch. So one day I said, Enough is enough. What am I even learning? I've been following this man, he's been making this progress. Let me apply exactly what he has been teaching. He said he started as a realtor, he was selling for uh, another big company. So I said, I'm going to model what he does because I believe that success gives clues. And if you follow the technique of champion, you too will become yes. champion. Yes. So I see uh, some common threads between him and I. I, I like as a teacher, and he, he likes teaching, and also I connected very well with him. I said, I'm going to follow what this man has been teaching. I want to look for a big real estate company and they start selling because I guess the next one is in Lagos, so I couldn't call me out and I have transport to come. I said, okay, let me look for a nearby real estate company and I found one and I started selling for them. That was how we were able to raise. And he started saying, I know you were talking about um, if you are selling, convert some commissions and start buying land and start buying land. So that was what I was doing. I followed exactly everything he taught me. On live videos, every, I used to have notes. I've been writing everything in teaching. So I was buying. I was even when I wanted to do traditional marriage, I had um, eight hundred and I had nine hundred thousand in that account. So I asked my wife, should we use this money and do a little traditional marriage, or should I buy land in Asaba? She said, okay, let's use the money and buy land. So I bought land eight hundred and ten. And this woman did Russian marriage of 12, 15 persons were in the, in the family. Mm -hmm. No new clothes, no nothing, no shoes, nothing. I just had one, one risk to watch that and it wasn't working. One shoe. <laughs> one shoe. <laughs> so, and thanks to uh, some COVID. COVID, I would even invite people to do the traditional marriage. <laughs> 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 so, Nepal B, I could let it to other something time. So, you thought we would relocate, we would pack up for the house. So that was that pause. But I had, I was buying land. I was buying land. Anyone that come, I was buying. I said, I don't want to echo this. So, but she understood. That's why I, I really, really respect her a lot. She understood me. We passed through all these things together. And she was still there. She was still supporting. She was still pushing. I was pushing. Two of us were pushing. And uh, so, don't wait. We now had our breakthrough. We launched our company, our first property. We sold out of three months. 